Protoform. Continuities. Generation 1 Beast Era. Beast Wars I Protoform. Continuities. Generation 1 Beast Era. Beast Wars I protoforms are often contained within stasis pods and dropped into unexplored worlds. The Axelon carried many such stasis pods for exploration reasons. When a protoform lands, it scans for compatible lifeforms. When a suitable lifeform is found, the protoform is reformatted by hitherto unknown means as its creation is completed by this process. Protoform. Continuities. Generation 1 Beast Era. Beast Wars 2 Predacon protoforms were shown moving about the Predacon warship using their own power, though they were not shown to speak or have any kind of personality. After the Predacons had gathered enough information about the machines of Gaia's past, they then fed the information into the protoforms via energy waves. The protoforms were then altered into the auto rollers. The atmosphere of the planet Gaia could cause the protoform from the Beast Wars 2 to rust. Note. Given that the autorollers were apparently extant veterans, this would be a case similar to that of Eraser, in which an already living Cybertronian had been downloaded into a new protoform body, yet awaiting to complete their return by either scanning a new form or by the work of experts. Protoform. Continuities. Dreamwave Comics Continuity Protoform. Continuities. Dreamwave Comics Continuity Protoforms are the first step in most, if not all, transformer lives. Convicted criminals are sometimes reduced to protoform state, such as the combaticons. Protoform. Continuities. Robots in Disguise. 2001. Autobots, and possibly Predacons, can change into a protoform state during long journeys, presumably to conserve energy. Attributes of an Autobot's original form remain in whatever new form the being takes. For instance, Scourge retained the ability to detect O parts. A downside to the protoform process is that it leaves the Autobot vulnerable to tampering, and, thereby meaning, effectively reprogramming. Megatron was able to use his Spark's energy to turn a crew of six Autobot protoforms into his new loyal soldiers, and the Autobot's, vehicular, counterparts. The Decepticon's protoform, continuities, Unicron Trilogy protoform, continuities, Unicron Trilogy, Phase 3, Cybertron Protoform, Continuities, Unicron Trilogy, Phase 3, Cybertron Protoforms are established as the first stage of Transformer life, which is usually followed by primary programming. Protoform, Continuities, Movie Protoform, Continuities, Movie 2007 Protoforms in this continuity are more than just the first stage of a Transformer's life. They are the base form that exists down inside each Cybertronian. Protoforms are made of an ultra-dense, liquid metal material and are extremely hard to damage. In the rare case they are not actively practicing their natural proclivity for chameleon-like disguise, usually only when engaged in interstellar travel. Transformers shed their exostructure and return to their protoform state. This state is capable of transforming into its transition form an armored, cometary shape capable of interstellar travel. Upon landing on a new world and transforming back into a protoform, the transformer immediately begins trans-scanning for new alternate forms to adopt. When one is chosen, the protoform draws on its own ultra-dense substance and any extraneous matter nearby to generate a new exostructure disguise. The Autobot protoforms resemble humanoids while the Decepticon protoforms look like monsters. Protoform. Continuities. Movie. Revenge of the Fallen protoform. Continuities. Movie. Revenge of the Fallen in the final battle. Many Decepticon protoforms joined the battle without scanning in alt mode. One of the protoforms was killed, with the head removed. Another one destroyed two of the Arkies before being killed by Ironhide and the rest were presumably killed in the carpet bombing. Protoform. Continuities. Movie. Dark of the Moon Protoform. Continuities. Movie. Dark of the Moon Several protoforms took part in the battle in Chicago after being transported to the from the moon via space bridge, but over killed by the Autobots and an SD Dark of the Moon Protoform. Continuities. Animated originally, 
The protoforms were under the care of Yuktron, as evident when 17 were in his care in his shrine in flashback in five servos of doom, until his former pupil lockdown mortally wounded him in an act of betrayal as he makes off with the protoforms as Megatron requested. Luckily, only one remained, and, returning to him in time, Prowl used that last one to revive his master. But Yoktron told him not to sacrifice the future to save the past, choosing to forcefully extinguish his own spark rather than live on stolen life. Five servos of doom the protoforms ended up in Megatron's ship, remaining intact after the ship got heavily damaged and later crashed on the moon. Transform and Rollout Starscream later takes advantage of these protoforms to create an army in his own image using the first two as booby-trap decoys to take out both sides. Fistful of Energon he then creates a team of five, giving them actual life with fragments of his Allspark shard. A bridge too close, part one eventually, Megatron takes advantage of the protoforms to create the three Lugnit Supremes. Endgame, part one after the battle, only three of the protoforms remain intact as they are brought back to Cybertron. Endgame, Part 2 In the case of Sari, her origins are a mystery, as her protoform somehow ended up in Professor Sundak's lab, more childlike compared to the other protoforms seen in the series. But like the Beast Wars series, Sari scanned her father's genetic signature to assume her current form, believing herself to be an actual human until the truth begins to reveal itself. After hearing Professor Sundak's explanation, Prowl pieced the pieces together and explained Sari's nature. Trans warped this ironically proves two of Professor Bulkhead's theories correct. The first being, that she came to Earth in an egg, and the second being, she's really a robot. Return of the Headmaster It has yet to be revealed how she even ended up at Sundak's lab or who dropped her there. In the series, protoform can be used as Cybertronian slang, translating roughly to baby or kid. According to Bumblebee, Megatron eats them for breakfast, which roughly translates as Megatron being feared by Cybertronian children. Transform and Rollout Also, Ratchet refers to Sari as a protoform, suggesting that protoforms are an early stage in a Cybertronian's life cycle that is similar to childhood. Lost and Found Prowl also said to Captain Fanzone that every protoform's elemental programming includes learning ninja nerve blows, which is why they were teaching them to Sari Sumdak. Survival of the fittest when Ratchet yelled at Carly and Spike, he said he wasn't a taxi service for unprocessed protoforms, Cybertronian, unborn babies. Garbage in, garbage out apparently, different transformers could also be created by the same protoform templates, a fact that could explain similarities in body form and transformation schemes, or, in real life terms, Retoolings and Redecos. Auto Boot Camp Protoform, Continuities, a Lime. Prime after arriving at the remains of the Harbinger, Starscream found an intact laboratory with five unused protoforms. Starscream then created five exact duplicates of himself out of them by implanting some of his own energon into them. However, the five contain functioning transformation cogs, whereas Starscream does not. The star's cream icons were then sent to the nemesis to exterminate Megatron. They managed to board the ship, but one was killed by Bulkhead, who also somehow wound up on the ship. It was at this point that Starscream learned that he could feel the pain and suffering his creations felt, implying that Energon extracted from another Cybertronian and used by the Protoform to influence its creation establishes a wireless link between the Cybertronian and the Protoform. Later. The remaining four were able to nearly kill Megatron, but were interrupted by the arrival of swarms of Insecticons, controlled by Arachnid from afar. During the confusion caused by their attacking the ship, Megatron was able to kill three of the four. The last was able to escape Megatron and later the ship after its power core was destroyed by Bulkhead. This clone then returned to Starscream, where it not only reported its failure but also tried to kill him. However, Starscream had been aware of the treachery and was able to kill it before it could do the same to him, thus feeling extreme pain. Armada